she do, I do everything. I move everything. I am not looking for clout, no. I knew I would figure it out. I knew. I took the mean around my head. Hey y'all, it's Prisca Love back again with another DIY. We have our Halloween costume today, no other than the Bring It On Clovers. And everybody knows these cheerleaders from Bring It On. And if you don't know, I'm going to show you how we accomplished this. Here is the outfit right here. And someone asked me to make this for them as well. So I'm just going to show you how I did it so you can do it too this Halloween. Let's get into it. So I got the fabric from Hobby Lobby. Okay, disclaimer. I wouldn't suggest using this fabric because it was not stretchy at all. It's best to use some type of polyester blend that is stretchy. But it was the closest place to me that had fabric in the exact colors that I needed. So that's what we did. So for the top, I used a cheerleading kind of style top for the base. And I just cut the fabric out glued the pieces down together in the color form that it should be like as pictured and we're just going to sew these pieces together to make our anchor piece for the top of the cheerleading top and i'm just showing you guys how i did this here now if you don't have a sewing machine or if you don't know how to sew that is okay you really can do all of this by just gluing it and i always recommend either fabric glue or even gorilla glue or a hot glue gun because I've done this before with just gluing it but since this was for someone as well I wanted to make sure everything was secure and looked as professional as possible so I did sew it and here you go you can see that's the top part it's all sewn together the colors are looking good I did try to like glue those parts down so just showing you guys can glue it and yeah it was looking good y'all I was super excited I was like oh okay so as you can see, that's the top part. And I'm not really good with making patterns. Like I said, this was my first time making some, this for someone else. So I just kind of tried to like follow the pattern size of this. I did have her measurements, so I did kind of do it to size um, and made it bigger than the actual top we have here. And I'm going to sew this front piece onto this green piece and to a back piece and then sew the sides together to make the top. Now, if the material was this stretchy, is not stretchy, we wouldn't have this issue. But since it was not stretchy, we did have to kind of like add an anchor piece to the side so you can get the top on and off. I was gonna add a zipper and I bought a zipper, but I didn't have enough time to put it on, but it was enough that if I could put it on, she was able to put it on as well. So it turned out really good. So just watch and see how I did that. This is my back panel. This is the top. Um, what I'm going to do is curve this out. So the back has a curve, it sits um, on the neck pretty nicely. But um, just for the purposes of me cutting it out, making sure I had enough fabric, I just did a rough estimate after like tracing out the size. Um, the client, she is like a 34 DD. So I'm trying to make sure I have enough space. So this is non-stretchy material. So annoying, but it's okay. Cause we're gonna make it work. So I had to add a little extra panel piece to kind of make the v-neck a little longer and it worked out perfectly. So just make sure to add that kind of so you have enough space on your shoulders with that fabric. But here I am just sewing everything together and hemming the top. Everything was looking so good. I also got all the thread from Hobby Lobby as well and it had the perfect colors.
Okay, y'all, I had to try it on to make sure everything was on track and was looking good. And it does. We do have to pull in the sides like here to kind of make the bust fit tighter and have that cute shape. So I'm just measuring it to make sure that both sides are the same and from the same length and width. And we're just going to pull that in and sew it together. And she looks like that. Looks really, really good. And here the top fits a million times better. Now it looks a little bit big on me. Um, but it'll fit the measurements perfectly. So I finesse this logo by pulling it up on Google, zooming in and tracing out on my laptop to make the perfect clover shape. Here is uh, just sewing the two colors together to make the bands for the bottom of the top and the skirt. Yeah, that's how that turned out. It looked really, really good. So to finesse my own patch, we just cut out the letters and the shape of the clover's name and then added the different colors. And I just used chalk to trace out the letters. And look at that. It looks so cool. Now you can glue all of this, but I'm just an overachiever, so I sewed every single piece down. And after I get done, when we wash everything, the chalk's gonna go away. But basically I'm sewing that color panel to the other panel and just going along the lines of the two fabrics and then do the same exact thing with the letters. <laughs> like it was really insane that I did this, but it turned out so good. It was worth it. So just watch to see how it turned out. Okay, y'all, so this is how the patch is coming along. So after I got done, like, sewing the letters and the patch pieces together, I didn't have to sew the actual patch to the top. But as you can see, the stitching on this looks so good. You not believe that I cut out every single piece and then just sewed it on directly. But it looked amazing. Again, you don't have to sew it like this or be extra like me. You can definitely just glue all this down and you'll get the same effect. I would just suggest doubling the fabric so the glue doesn't show through. Because if it's if the fabric's too thin, the glue would definitely like show up. You don't want that. So guys, we are finally done. We cleaned up the little frayed thread and the patch looks so cool. I think it looks amazing. What do you guys think? Okay, so this is me showing you more of what I did in the beginning for that little panel. So I just cut those to size ironed it in place and then just sewed them on top of each other so this is going to go at the bottom of the skirt and it's that stripe band and i'm just sewing it to the bottom of the skirt right here since we're doing a pleated cheerleading skirt i did have to watch like a million different YouTube videos on how to do this and this was the easiest way for me so I basically just measured an inch between each pleat and pinned the pleats as you can see and they were just gonna sew along the top part to complete the pleat 
and then add an elastic band. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. So this is all of the pleating, but I did take out like two pleats because it made the skirt too short, like around the waist. And yeah, now it fits perfectly when I took it out. And I added some color panels in there too, because the clovers had little color panels in between their pleated skirts. So I had some more fabric to do that. And now we're just gonna sew it all together. This clip is me showing you guys how I'm gonna sew the actual skirt together. Basically on those two pleats on each side, you're just gonna pin that and then just sew inside out. Um, just to be clear, cause I didn't really explain that, but yeah, when you're sewing, you must sew on the inside of the garment. So when you flip it over, you don't see the actual thread. Just letting you know if that wasn't obvious. But yeah, I'm just sewing the skirts together and we're pretty much almost done, guys. Now that the skirt is sewn together, we're gonna add the band. So I basically pinned the elastic inside the band and added that color band and I'm gonna sew that around the elastic and a little bit on the elastic so it does stretch. And boom, this is the final product. Oh my God, she looks amazing. I did iron her out, ironed the pleats, washed her and got her ready to go. And here it is look at it everything turned out so cute the fit is immaculate the top looks so good i think i did pretty good for my first time really sewing something together fully and there's no stretch and it still turned out cute look at me honey clovers number one cheerleader i was a cheerleader in real life so this resonates okay and if i could do this for the first time you could definitely do it too <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate all the love and i'll see y'all next time